you know, for many years, we have just stood on the sidewalk in prayer, and that's wonderful. Uh, whenever a heart's changed, it's only through the grace of God. Um, but having this bus here to back up what we're offering to these women, it's more or less putting our money where our mouth is. Not only are we telling them there's so much help available in the city, but we're saying it's right here, right now. All you have to do is walk a few steps, come on in, we'll do a free pregnancy test, free ultrasound, and connect you with all the care that you need to continue your pregnancy. The Mobile Crisis Pregnancy Center was built because Planned Parenthood in Houston designed their new clinic so that there couldn't be a building, a static crisis pregnancy center on site permanently. And so we felt like, because we've been called, we felt, to be organizing Christians in support of life, we felt like we had a special calling to be the ones that put a mobile crisis pregnancy center on the road. And that was something that happened very suddenly, but we're, we're very happy that it happened. Since there was no place to build, rent, anything near Planned Parenthood, they started thinking creatively and came up with the idea for a mobile center. So they checked around Houston and asked other pro-lifers, is anybody else going to do this? And when no one else stepped forward, we just went ahead and decided to do it ourselves, even though it was pretty different than anything we'd ever done before. But in December of 2010, and I think it was definitely a prompting of the Holy Spirit, um, I felt like Houston Coalition for Life should be the ones to go ahead with the mobile center. Um, since Planned Parenthood was our focus, and we plan on being there every day in prayer anyway, we should be the ones to go forward with the mobile crisis pregnancy center. So we put it to prayer, I brought it to my board, they quickly approved, and at our dinner in March of 2010, I announced that we were going to go forward with the mobile crisis pregnancy center. But I said it would probably be a year-long project. Well, little did we know that God would soon take over this project. And people were put in my way, so to speak, that I believe were truly sent by the Holy Spirit to really get this project moving. So we did our first Walk for Life in June of 2010, and the community really stepped up. I mean, people came out of the woodwork to participate in the walk. And even from uh, surrounding cities and across the country, people even helped support our walk. Shortly after that, um, was a deacon out at St. Anthony of Padua who just happens to have a business called Imagine Motive. And the best way for me to describe that business is to say, if you can dream it, he can build it. And I thought to myself, well, I don't want a crisis pregnancy center that looks like a bus, because I knew that he worked on buses. But I decided to go out and meet him and see what he could do. And we were literally blown away by what he's done with other buses and what he's turned them into and we gladly asked him to take over the project of, of re first of all, finding us a bus, and then secondly, remodeling it. And the next step was to start designing the inside and the outside, which I believe the bus had to be completely redone, but you know, that's the fun part. When we brought the bus in, we stripped everything out from inside of it and put a completely custom interior that is ideally suited for bringing pregnant mothers in offering them free pregnancy tests, counseling, and 4D ultrasounds. Uh, not a coincidence, I'm sure. It's what I would like to call a Christ incident. But from the time I announced that we were going forward with the bus until the time the bus was actually done being remodeled was nine months. So nine months and our, our blue baby was born, as we like to call our bus, our blue baby. And now we are parked outside the largest abortion facility in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, we hope to be here every day. We were here every day of the Lent 40 Days for Life in 2011, offering alternatives to the abortion-minded women going in. It was a Saturday, the first day it was out there, and all of the, the Planned Parenthood knew what we were doing, but they did not know the extent of what we were doing. And um, to see their mouths hit the ground was pretty amazing. It was priceless. I think the thing that has really surprised me about the bus is how every day that it comes out, I get this feeling of, yes, the bus is here. And I'm not saying that lightly because during Four Days for Life, I was there almost every day. And every day when the bus would pull up, I mean, day after day after day, every time it would pull up, yes, the bus is here. Things are easier because I have that feeling of knowing right behind me there's options. I'm not going to have to try to talk a girl into a 15-minute drive. 
I can point right over there and everything she would need is available right now. We can help her right now. It makes it easier to stand there. It makes it easier to stay there. I mean, I didn't think at the beginning of Four Days for Life that I would be able to spend four hours of every day at Planned Parenthood, but that bus being there is a completely different experience than standing there just hoping that the girl will take your brochure and be willing to drive far away again after she's frustrated. So it makes all the difference. Um, and I think every day that we've been out there, we were able to help somebody in a different way. Um, and there's just been stories after stories of women who just are in tears of joy after they leave our bus because they had no idea that th there was help. I mean, other options out there available. You know, one story that still gets to me every day that a woman was in Planned Parenthood for an abortion. She was on the table and she asked the nurse, um, does my baby have a heartbeat? And the nurse said yes. And she got up immediately and she came to our bus for help. And it was wonderful doing her ultrasound because in between covering her eyes and peeking and looking at the baby and covering her eyes again, she was smiling and crying. And when she left our bus, she was thanking us for how we had helped her and so, so thankful that she had not gone through with the abortion of her child. You know, they, Planned Parenthood constantly denies the humanity of the unborn child. One girl in particular, she pulled out of Planned Parenthood with her friend and rolled down the window. And I said to her, do you know anybody in a crisis pregnancy? And she looked at me and she said, I am a crisis. And I said, well, we can help you. And I'd never gotten a response like that before. And when I told her that it was a free ultrasound, she was very, very frustrated. She said, are you kidding me? I just paid in there all this money. So she went over to the bus and she had been abortion-minded. She was trying to find an abortionist right then. The only reason she hadn't stayed in Planned Parenthood was because she was too far along. And when they had shown her an ultrasound, they just showed her a very grainy picture. That it looked like a blob, like they told her it was. But she was far enough along to where she could have seen the baby moving, waving at her, his little arms and legs kicking. So when she went over to the bus and she heard about all this, she learned about fetal development, she learned about what her baby looked like, and she saw models for what the size would be and what features it would have. She immediately just said, I mean, she had been even on the phone trying to find abortionists. She changed her mind and she said, well, I'm so glad that this bus is here because now I know that what I can do is give this baby for adoption. So not only will that baby live, but some adoptive parents will finally have a child to take care of and it was because that bus was there and she could get immediate help. And so far we've been here about uh, five weeks. We've seen a little over 80 women. We know of eight women who had abortions scheduled the day they came into our bus who changed their mind when we showed them their unborn child on the ultrasound machine. It's just, it's it's crucial that we're out there showing, tell, giving options to those women, life-saving options. The bus is a the bus is almost like a mobile billboard. It's almost like like the same role in advertising plays to wake you up to something you didn't know you needed. And not just for the girl in crisis, not just for the, the father in crisis, but for the, the pro-life person who just simply isn't focused on the reality right now of abortion. Just seeing this bus wakes up a lot of people. In fact, one of our, our goals beyond being here is to take it to pro-life people, take it to churches, let Christian people see just through the, through the, the, the reality of this vehicle and the beauty of this vehicle to remind them that somewhere else, somewhere they aren't, somewhere where they can't be maybe, there are women who need help and we're providing it. And hopefully we'll convince them to, to dig into their generosity, but also into their, their time and to their prayer life to reach out to the unborn, to reach out to the woman in crisis. I can't even tell you how many times people who were never involved before will say, oh, that bus, that's amazing, you're right there. And they will really, I mean, people that really have never shown up that will come out and want to give a donation. And because it was, because of the way the bus is run and taken care of, when people very frequently ask us, so what does it cost every day you bring it out here? And we tell them, they'll say, oh, that's it. Well, you all have this all so planned out. And then they want to become involved because they see that we try to be good stewards of the gifts that God has given us 
to work in the pro-life movement here in Houston. They don't feel like anything is wasted. And so if before they said, oh, well, there's no point in that, they see how much good can be done with even just a very little bit. And so they want to give more and more because they realize that God can use everything and that nothing's going to go to waste. Well, a lot of people have seen our bus now that we're parked on the street next to this huge Planned Parenthood in Houston. And everybody who sees it wants to do something to help keep it on the road. And so we have a website. It's HoustonCoalition.com. And anybody who's interested in helping us to keep this bus on the road, all they have to do is go to our website and donate. And that's HoustonCoalition.com.